Starting a business is just as easy as it sounds. Come up with a good idea, get a business name, register your business name, get a license, open a social media account for your business, market it to a few family and friends, you're good to go. However, when it comes to starting and running a successful business, you need a lot more than those. Not to scare you or anything, but the truth is that running a business can be pretty tough. From trying to ensure that your product or service meets people's needs to provide quality production and marketing, business growth takes a lot of planning and patience. However, as challenging as it may be, with the right plans in place, you can build a successful brand. Zig Ziglar, an American author, salesman and motivational speaker, once said, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. There are a few things that you should know before starting your business. In this video, I'll share with you the top 10 things you should know when starting a business. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Develop a powerful message. Beyond selling a product, what message is your business passing across to the world? What is it telling people? Why should anyone want to be a part of your brand? Why should they purchase your product when there are other types in the market? Why should they keep choosing you over and over, even though there might be some of the products that may be better than yours? The answer to all these questions lies in the message of your brand to the world. Blake Mykoski, an American entrepreneur, author and philanthropist said, the easier it is for someone to understand who you are and what you stand for, the easier it will be for that person to spread the word to others. When someone asks you, what do you do? How clear is your message to them? For instance, you sell cardigans for babies to keep them warm. How do you explain that to someone who asks you what you do for a living? 1. I sell cardigans for babies. 2. I sell cardigans that keep babies three times warmer than any other brands, which means they don't get to feel cold, leading to better naps and a healthier childhood. What do you think? Which of these two options best explains what you do? I'm sure we'll both agree that the second option does more justice than the first. If you want to pass your messages across clearly, you need to, first of all, identify what you stand for and then craft your story in a way that is easy to remember and retell. 2. Create something valuable Albert Einstein, a German-born theoretical physicist, said, Try not to become a man of success, rather, become a man of value. Creating value is the cornerstone of success. The wealthiest people in the world have created the most value. Creating value means putting your customers' needs ahead of yours. If you put yours ahead of theirs, you'll lose. No matter how great your sales abilities or skills are, your customers should always come first. When you create products or services that are valuable, you'll transform your business and set it up for exponential growth because you're improving your customers' lives. 3. Have a clear goal Without a business goal, your business will probably fail eventually. What do you want to achieve with your business? Also, what's the purpose of your brand? Your business goal should be clear enough for people to understand what you're driving at and the essence of your brand. 4. Create a business plan to achieve your goals. Do you know why you need a business plan to build a successful brand? You need it because you should be sure of all the steps necessary to achieve your goal. You should also be able to tell what next and most importantly, you should be able to track your progress from time to time. Your business plans should cover sales, revenues and profitability. Without a plan to help you in achieving your goals, there will be nothing but intangible fantasies. So, it'll help to not only have an idea, but also have it written. 5. Improve the lives of others Undoubtedly, the fastest way to achieve success is first to help others. Not only should you deliver value, but you should look for ways to improve other people's lives with whatever it is you do in your business. You see, except you're not considering long-term exponential growth, you might just keep buttering about how to sell alone. Otherwise, finding ways to improve people's lives should be the motive of your business. Albert Einstein said, Try not to become a man of success, but a man of value. Look around at how people want to get more out of life than they put in. A man of value will give more than he receives. Be creative, but make sure that what you create is not a curse for humankind. When you create value for people via the product you sell, the services you offer, or the information you give out, you will experience not only unimaginable sales, but also tremendous growth. 6. Build a good team To accomplish a project or goal, we all need people who have complementary sets of skills. No one can do it all. So, we'll always need people to help us. To begin with, 
It'll help to discover your core strengths and skills, after which you need to find some of the smartest people you can who complement your weaknesses. Yes, you might be tempted to pick people who are like you, but don't. You need people who are good at what they do and who are better at other things that you are not. That's how to build a good team. 7. Be visible. Think about it this way. Imagine producing something that will put an end to hunger forever. It means that you are creating something valuable and something that can improve lives, right? What if after making this product, put it in a safe place in the corner of your house with the hopes that it will attract people, good idea or not? That's what happens when you create a product and do not put into place effective marketing. Ed Howe, an English professional football manager and former player, said, Doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but nobody else does. When it comes to marketing, apply the 80-20 rule, which suggests that 80% of your company sales come from 20% of your customers. Alternatively, you could say that 20% of what you do represents 80% of that particular activity's outcome. So, invest 80% of your time and finance into marketing your product if you want to get results that pay off. 8. Learn how to sell. A significant part of a business is sales. Knowing how to close deals and contracts, attracting the right customers, and getting them to purchase your product in place of your competitors. If you genuinely desire to succeed, then as a business owner, you need to learn how to sell. Look at it this way. If you produce the best toothpaste that can cure every mouth problem and clean teeth and provide fresh breath, you might never be able to sell your product without a proper sales structure or concept. That you have the best product doesn't mean that you'll automatically make sales if you don't know how best to approach it, hence the need to learn how to sell. 9. Keep detailed records. Keeping detailed records will help you know where your business lies financially and what challenges you might face. It will in turn help you plan and strategize better so that your business can grow and you'll become successful. 10. Learn customer service. Remember what we said earlier, your customers should always come first. So, treat them as such make them feel special with the services you render. Here's the thing about building a successful brand. How you make people feel will determine whether they want to come back to shop with you. People like to feel special, so treat them special. That way, they'll become your loyal and returning customers. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.